Here is the infamous Madonna problem. You're going to have a lot of problems that are similar to this one here, so you need to know how to do it. The biggest thing is you have to list your givens and keep everything organized. So we have vertical and horizontal givens now. Okay, We have acceleration always. We can, No matter what the problem is, we can always list that. So vertically, we know that it's going to be negative 9.8. Horizontally, always, 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 horizontal acceleration is zero. Always. Nothing can speed up horizontally. Okay. Now, initial velocity. Initial velocity. Most of the time, initial velocity vertically is going to be zero. Initial velocity here is going to be something else. Okay. Um, now, reading through the problem, you're going to start seeing some numbers. We've got that. We have that. Well, we need to figure out if those are going to be vertical or horizontal. All right, there's going to be XF. You're going to do usually have XF in your problem. Um, and the big, great gatekeeper will always be time. With all of these horizontal problems, the time is the one thing that's in common. And it will be the one thing that you have to do usually as the first step so that you can solve for the other step. So, we look at the problem, and we have this 250 meters. So, we know that's meters. We know it's going to be distance. Which one is it? Well, it's height, so that has to be vertical. So, we have a 250 here. Okay. So, that's done. All right. Now, what about the 30 meters per second? Well, she's moving 30 meters per second before going off a cliff. Okay. So, that has to be a horizontal distance or horizontal velocity, so that's going to be third VI horizontally, okay? And I ask how far from the base of the cliff. So we want to know this distance down here. So that's going to be our question mark, all right? But we don't know time yet. Time is our first gatekeeper. Now, if you look at this problem, time is on both sides. Vertical only has one unknown, the time, all right? Horizontal has two unknowns the time, and xf. So that means we need to do the vertical piece first. So we're going to do vertical first. Okay, and you're going to use this formula a lot. It's the big ugly simplified, but we solve for t. So time is equal to the square root of 2xf over a. All right, so we plug it in. Square root of 2 times 250 divided by 9.8. Now, I know I have negative there, and yes, it is negative. Well, how is that going to work? Well, it turns out the 250 has to be negative as well because it's falling down. So if you're doing a square root, there should be no um, strange number, so the negatives are going to cancel out. Okay, so you're going to plug and chug, and you're going to get a time of 7.14. All right. Now, once we plug that in, so that is our vertical. Now we have to, we're going to clear this off. All right. Now once we know our vertical, we got time in, hor in the vertical, 7.14. Okay. Now we go to the horizontal. And horizontally, we're using the big ugly, except it's a very boring big ugly. There's no initial velocity. So, or I'm sorry, there's no initial position. That's gone, okay? There's no acceleration. So that's gone, okay? The only thing you have left is VI times T. Initial velocity was 30. T was going to be, it was 7.14. Plug in, and you get an answer on your sheet.